in my entire childhood, I was only ever grounded once, and yet the circumstances of the grounding were perplexing to me at the time, and have remained unresolved till today. So my neighbour, my next door neighbour, was clearing out his house. He had bought a large skip which he placed at the point where his driveway met the street and the skip was full to the rim with his old stuff. There was furniture, there were books, there was appliances, there were appliances, there were a whole variety of things. So me and my friend Reuben, who lived on the same street, Reuben and I actually were next door neighbours, and so it was Reuben's house, my house, and then this next door neighbour's house, who had, who who's doing the clear out of his house. So Reuben and I decide to do a bit of rummaging. And we go, we go up to the skip and start pulling stuff out and start looking at it. And I don't remember this, but I think Reuben was able to find some rather adult magazines amongst the garbage because he was getting very excited. He was really happy about what he was finding in the skip. And I went, so we rummaged for a while and then I went back to my house for dinner. And apparently my parents had told me not to go back to the skip after dinner. Apparently that's what happened. I do not remember at all, at all, my parents saying that. And after dinner, so we had dinner, and after dinner, I went back outside with Reuben, and we resumed our rummaging through the skip. And at some point, the neighbour, the next door neighbour, caught notice of us, and decided to do something about it. So he walked out of his front door, armed with his big bulldog, his big, big teethed, fully adult bulldog. And he started approaching us. And so the two of us, me and Reuben, made a run for it. We hid in our, in a nearby neighbor's front yard where we found a place to hide and then after the neighbor had gone back to his house we made our way back to my house and Reuben was so scared of the neighbor that he decided that he asked that he be able to hide out in my house's property until the heat cooled down and which I allowed him to and I went back inside and my parents said that they were very disappointed in me that I had disobeyed their orders and went to the skip when they explicitly directly told me not to and so they got me for one week or was it one fortnight I can't remember but anyway um, that didn't actually mean much because there was nothing actually that I wanted to go out and see that period so it wasn't a huge punishment for me but the point still stands that I was punished when I have no memory whatsoever that I was directed not to go to the skip after dinner and I, I said that at the time when they decided to ground me. I said, I do not remember at all you telling me to do that. You telling me not to do that. 
but they didn't listen to me. Yeah, so yeah, that was the only ever occasion in my entire childhood where I was grounded.